Hi there. Here's an exercise that'll help you learn how to uh, synchronize with the metronome. Now, a lot of times when we're uh, playing and we're kind of new on the guitar, we uh, get an internal rhythm going and uh, we play pretty well all by ourselves. But then the next step is to be able to play along with a metronome because eventually uh, your goal is probably to play along with others and you want to make sure that you're listening to the beat of the others or if you just want to play along with a recording same thing applies you need to be able to externalize your clock so to speak so uh, this exercise can be done on an acoustic guitar, can be done on an electric guitar. You don't even have to have a guitar. You can just do it by clapping your hands. But, you know, since we're playing guitar, it's a little more fun on the guitar. Uh, I would suggest when you're first working on this exercise to pick just any chord that's really easy for you to play and that sounds kind of pleasing. You can do an E or a G or a D, whatever. But I, I don't really encourage you to switch chords during this exercise. Just stick with one chord, play one chord. That E sounds pretty good, so I'll use that today. Okay, for the first part of this exercise, I'm going to have a metronome that actually counts out loud, so it's a little easier to tell where the beats are. It's not mandatory to have a counting metronome, but sometimes it does help. Uh, when the voice says one for this first exercise, then I'm going to do one downstroke on my guitar. So it will sound something like one three, four, something like that. Uh, and remember, it's only on the one beat and it's a single downstroke. So uh, I've got my metronome set for 72 beats per minute here just to make it uh, nice and easy to begin with. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you may have noticed that I was gently tapping on my guitar's body while uh, the other beats were going on. And that may or may not help you. It's not mandatory again, but it might help you kind of synchronize, kind of get used to where that beat is, okay? So for the second part of this exercise now, we're going to do a downstroke on beats one and beats three. So it will sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Again, it's a single downstroke and you wanna make sure that you're hitting that downstroke exactly when the metronome makes that count. So again, we're gonna stick with 72 beats per minute. Here's what that'll sound like. One, two, Here we three, go. four. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to uh, increase the complexity a little bit here, and we're going to do a downstroke on beat one, and then we're gonna do an upstroke on beat two. When beat three comes along, we're gonna do a downstroke again. And with beat four, we'll do an upstroke. So it's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So as you can see, there's no time left <laughs> to be tapping the top of your guitar because we're gonna be playing a chord for every beat. So again, sticking with uh, 72 beats per minute, here's what this will sound like. One, two, Here we go. three, four. So again, notice every time there's a beat counted, I'm doing either an upstroke or a downstroke. So the funny thing about when you get to this point, sometimes it becomes a little bit easier as the tempo is increased on your metronome. So right now we're at 72. I'm going to crank that up to maybe 100. And I'll do that same exercise. And uh, for me, it's a little bit easier to play at that speed. You, you may have a different uh, uh, experience, but sometimes when you're doing upstrokes, downstrokes, upstrokes, downstrokes like this, it's a little easier to play with a metronome that's going a little faster. So here's what this will sound like at 100 beats per minute. One, two, Here we three, go. four. So again, uh, that's a that's an exercise, kind of a beginning exercise, but it's one that's going to help you synchronize with that external clock, that metronome. Uh, you could also use a drum machine for this. I don't happen to have mine ready to go on this, but uh, that's that's a lot of fun too. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.